The city of Bakersfield is moving forward with a plan to help make several downtown neighborhoods safe from heavy traffic. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa live on Elm and 24th Streets, where you know there's one cul-de-sac tonight. Crews now set to close and construct cul-de-sacs on 8th Street. Carlos, tell us what's going on. This is the barrier that separates the busy 24th Street traffic with this very quiet neighborhood on Elm. Now, starting tonight, people living between here and 22nd Street can rest a little easier. People living in the Westchester neighborhood have noticed a big problem up and down their streets. Well, you get cars in excess of 40, 50 miles an hour cutting through there. Neighbors have worked for more than two years to get the city to close and construct cul-de-sacs on Beach, Myrtle, Spruce, Pine, Cedar, A, B, and C Street south of 24th Street. Many times, uh, if there's a traffic accident on 24th, you'll have cars lined up from 21st all the way back to 24th for two blocks. We're looking at just cars backed up and stopped in front of our house. In a unanimous vote, Bakersfield City Council members approved to build cul-de-sacs on all seven streets but one. It was an unfortunate delay that was unforeseen. Um, um, in the last 18 months, uh, there had been no indication that was going to happen. Under an agreement, all property owners affected must sign a petition in order for cul-de-sacs to be built. But a few days ago, a homeowner living on Spruce Street decided to opt out of the project, creating a delay for the block. So the opinion of that one person is now considered more important than the will of nine of his neighbors. This just isn't right. We have 10 children living in that first block, playing ball, skateboarding, doing things the kids do. I urge you for the question of safety to consider moving forward this, with this project. City leaders are now planning for another meeting to talk about the agreement that would legally include a cul-de-sac on Spruce Street. I would agree with, um, with my neighbors regarding the change of the requirement from unanimous to majority. I agree that uh, one homeowner should not hold the rest of us hostage. Now, each cul-de-sac will cost about $18,000, and construction can start as early as March. Live at 11, Carlos Correa, 23ABC.